Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good evening. So right now we're going to continue with the world event. So yeah, let's keep going. Currently we are in chapter two. Let's go check out the history. As you'll see here, the final boss for this is the Koba, which means that if it's not the Koba and it's not the Angelia, the final boss will be the Legion. Okay, so let's head over to the roadmap and we'll start this off now. We will hit go after let's see defeating desperate yep all right <laughs> all right we do have a battle and they do have a skill so whenever an ally attacks we'll give an attack boost to a random ally except a building wow they really did get a real dialogue okay let's take a look at the buildings and we'll attack on the open lanes B. I was gonna say C, but this is this is C right here. Okay, that was desperate. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have our next quest here. Activate Epic Obelisk in place of power three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the place of power. We have this epic obelisk that we will activate three times. And hopefully we get some bonus runes. Epic. Oh well. Okay, well, we are now complete with that quest. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have our next set of quests here. Up top are open 10 chests for victories over other players. Behind that, we have find 900 souls of epic heroes. On the bottom here, we have summon the demigods, gods of war, gladiators, or perform the miracle summon two times. We'll start with this quest up top here. This one is open 10 chests for victories over other players. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to the League. We will open up some chests. As you can see, these do count for our quest. And we will need to earn some more as well. So we will actually come back later and we'll have that done. All right, guys, we are back. We have finished this quest and so we'll now continue. What is going on here? Got it. All right, cool. Hey, another ad. Great. Okay, we have our next quest here up top. Find 900 souls of epic heroes. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to the summon hall. What we'll do is head out and find some epic chests. Do know that we do have potentially some in the event pass, but we're not quite there yet. Let's head over to the league and then go to our valor pass. And the valor pass also has some epics, but also not quite enough. So in this case, we'll head over to the divine arena and as you can see we have some epic chests over here that we can win let's also go over to the mighty pass and we can get chests over here so why not yeah we'll just open these instead epic. as you see these chests do count for the quest so we'll open up one more epic. as you can see we're now complete another ad we'll head back to the roadmap and then go do the bottom quest down here this one is summon the demigods, gods of war, gladiators, or perform the miracle summons two times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us back to the summon hall. We'll do two demigod summons in order to get us some additional runes. Looks like we also have an additional summon available uh, in about 14 hours, but we'll, we'll spend the one scroll over here. I guess also we could have opened one of these demigod scrolls as well and got an epic, but yeah, in case you don't have them. All right, we are now complete with that quest. Let's see if we got a legendary from here. Nope, no event heroes either, which is a bummer. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, defeat big guy. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill, so whenever they are attacked, they will poison enemies for some damage. Not expecting dialogue anytime soon, so let's stick with the buildings. Okay, we'll attack on the open lane A. Whoa! And there we go. So that was big guy. <laughs> we'll head over to the roadmap and continue. Okay, looks like we have a quest already completed. Let's go check these out. Up top, we have Soulbind any of the event rares five times. Behind that, we have Boost Legendary Heroes using Soul Dust four times. 
On the bottom, we have find 1,400 souls of the Stone Guardian, Winged Knight, or Harbinger of War. These are the event epics. We'll start with this quest up top. This one here is sold by any of the event rares five times. We do have these heroes from before, and so that is why this one is complete. So we'll now continue. Okay, we'll do this next quest here up top. Boost legendary heroes using soul dust four times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us back to our squad. We just need to boost our legendary heroes. So let's do that. We'll filter over here and actually that doesn't make sense. Let's filter for our legendaries over here. Then we're gonna scroll all the way down to the right because we'll find some weaker heroes. The weaker heroes, if you go over to the boost, you'll see that their costs should be slightly less. So 110. To number two, number three over here. I can see the cost is a little more for every level, so that's why we went down to the very end. And here's number four. Okay, we are now complete. Let's head back to the roadmap. Skip that ad and go down here. Find 1400 souls of any of the event epics. We'll hit the go. This brings us to the summon hall. We'll head actually out of here. Out of the roadmap and then over to the squad and we'll look next for any of those heroes so we're going to go for our actually go for our epics and see what we have we have a koba the epic koba over here we'll hit the evolve and if we do evolve these twenty thousand copies we'll be able to get 1400 so let's do that as you see the evolve does count and more importantly it does get our souls so we'll now head back and continue. Okay, we have our next quest here, Defeat Avenger. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. And they do have a skill, so whenever an enemy appears except an order hero, they will set their health to 1. And they definitely got rid of the dialogue. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. Kind of bummed that they got rid of it. It's it's always fun to hear their story. Okay, we'll attack on the open lane A. Or open lane D, rather. And there we go. So that was Avenger. We'll head back to the roadmap. And continue. Okay, we have our next set of quests here. Up top, spend 700 soul dust. Behind that, soul bind any of the event epics five times. On the bottom, we have spend 7,500 runes. We're going to skip this bottom quest because we do want to save our runes for later. So in this case, we'll do this one quest up top. This one is spend 700 soul dust. We'll hit the go. And this brings us back to the squad. We will we'll boost any of these legendary heroes except the event ones as we will want to save that for chapter three. So we'll pick a legendary, we'll boost. You can see the cost goes up a little bit. We'll do one more over here because we have plenty of dust as well. And we're not complete. So we'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Okay, we have our next quest over here. Soul bind any of the event epics five times. We do have these heroes from before, similar to the other quest back there. And so that is one that's complete. We'll head back and continue. Okay, we have our next quest over here, Defeat Impudent. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to a battle. We are a little short on our attempts. It'll be back in about a minute, so I guess we can just hop around for a bit. See, we got a little bit more points, so we can open up some more chests, so that's good. See if there's anything else over here that we need to clear out. Gotta do some battles, which we'll do offline. Go to the summon hall, we do have a little bit of demigod scrolls and miracle scrolls, which we'll need for later. Check our rewards, grab some stuff. We have the shop over here, which we won't be buying anything for now. Head over to the mighty pass. Got some other resources that we can use for other quests. Over to our quest down here, claim some wards, open up some more chests. See if we can donate some more souls. We're one soul off, okay. 
grab some friend points that we'll need for mercenaries chest. And at this point, we should be good. Oh, 42. Wow, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I'll hop around some more, head over to the Valor Pass. I guess we can claim some gold that we'll need for later. It's unfortunate that they made leveling so expensive, and that gold is so hard to come by. Ironically, as you can buy it outright. You could also swap gems for it too, but we'd rather save our gems for more world events or other heroes that we need to purchase. So we'll now head back. Hopefully that was enough. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll head over to the impudent and they do have two skills. So whenever an ally attacks, they'll get an attack boost to a random ally except a building. And then they'll also get a health boost to a random ally except a building. Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane B. And there we go. So that was impudent. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. Oh, once again, another ad. Okay. We have our next set of quests here up top are collect resources and gold mine three times. Behind that, perform rebirth with any of the event epics five times. On the bottom, we have spend 500 gems. We'll start with this quest up top. This one is collect resources and gold mine three times. We'll hit the go. And this brings us to gold mine. Gold mine itself is timed, so once you do it, you'll need to actually wait for it to recharge. We will have to do those offline, and so we will see you guys later. All right, guys, we are back. We have now finished the gold mine, so we will now continue. Hey, another ad. <laughs> okay, we are on this quest here. Perform rebirth with any of the event epics five times. We do have these heroes from before, and so that's why this one is done. We'll do this bottom quest down here. This one is spend 500 gems. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to the Summon Hall. We can actually spend our gems in any way aside from the Summon Hall. We can go... What I usually end up doing is going to the Legendary Draft. And then I will spend some gems to potentially get some more Demigod Scrolls and more rewards. As you see, it does count for that quest. And now we'll head back to the roadmap and go grab both rewards. Okay, we have this next quest here. Get two legendary heroes in Summon's Orange Chest. We'll hit the go. And this brings us over to League. I do have a legendary chest from before. You can also see, if I go over to the main battles, you can use these season chests as well, but as you see, they'll open up on a longer period of time, which is less than the amount of time we have available. So in this case, let's hop back. We'll open up one season chest over here. Legendary. As you see, it does count for this quest. Cool. we also got some shards and we're going to open the other one right back in the summon hall we have a free demigod summon and hopefully this will give us some um, legendaries epic unfortunate we can check one more place nope it does not count i guess we'll have to wait for the other one which is over here about a few hours so we'll check back in we'll grab that other chest and then we'll see you guys later all right guys we are back we have gotten that other legendary chest and now we are complete we will now continue okay we have our final quest of chapter two this is defeat remnant we'll hit the go and this brings us to a battle and they do have a skill so whenever they are attacked they will poison enemies for some damage Okay, let's take a look at the buildings. And we'll attack on the open lane D. And there we go. That was Remnant. We'll head back to the roadmap and continue. And here's the end card for chapter two, Koba Temple Keeper. There are two kinds of golems. One of them are ancient creatures living underneath Pangea. The others are victims of terrible crimes, brought back to life with only one goal, 
vengeance. Which one is Koba? He looks pretty happy, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll grab our rewards. And we'll head into chapter three. Chapter three, final fight. When your opponents understood who they were dealing with, the situation became even more complicated. You had to simultaneously escape from enemies who wanted you dead and from allies who cared too much about your safety. Besides, you had to fight Legion and his army, which would lead to an almost imminent defeat. But you were chosen to be the Lord Protector for a reason. I knew you'd be able to handle everything. That's nice. Okay, let's take a look at the rewards. We'll be able to get 1k copies of the Legion God of War, along with some Miracle Scrolls, a medal, and then also a gallery portrait. So we'll head into the adventure. And at this point, we will stop, and then we will continue on with Chapter 3. So we'll see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.